Okay, while we were busy with the, um, with the clock jokes, a lot of other times when you do get your hand in here for the choke, you're not going to budge, okay? You're not going to be able to come around to pull the oak up, okay, or anything else. So, just a different take on this choke. I'm going to be, so we're going to go more for a, a lapel choke here. I'm not going to go and grab the belt. I'm going to be over here and grab the pants right at the bottom there. Okay? Here we go. Oh. <clears throat> I'm going to be on my knees. Very important with this. Keep your chin on his back the whole time. Okay? I'm going to lift off my knees to try and push him over. Okay? He's going to push back, of course. So all I do now is go back on my knees and pull him onto his side. That's all I need. Okay? I'm still on my knees. Chin still on him. Okay? I'm going to move my head onto his spine. I'm going to pull his leg and the choke here on the side and pull it to a fly. Easy, easy. <coughs> okay, so it's just a different take to having to go there, okay, and coming over and up. You might not be able to get the oak up, okay, <coughs> or you can't get your foot around. Also works perfect on big oaks. <coughs> so yeah, get it in, go for the pants, okay. Chin. I'm going to reposition as if I want to push him over. Okay. He's going to resist. I'm going to let go and pull him on his side. Okay. Even here, you can still control him. You can't roll up. Hey. Eh? Can't go that that way. Can't go the other way. Okay. <coughs> Put your head straight into his spine. <coughs> And pull both your elbows into your core, into your hips. Good <coughs> Chuck. Okay. Cool. Thanks. Sweet.